My name is Stephanie Vasquez. I live in Portland, Tennessee. I have my own little farm. I have horses, donkeys, chickens, goats, pigs, cats, dogs. I did not ever think in my wildest dreams that I would fall in love with the Army. I was a single parent. I joined the Army basically to be able to support my kids. Before I deployed, I created my own FET team. It's a female engagement team. I had seven other females. We were basically going in with the infantry guys. We were able to go into the rooms where they put the women and the children, and we could tactically question and search the women to see if there is any caches there. Are they hiding anything there? You know, a way to try to save an American soldier. The day that I got injured, we had been out for four days. We air assaulted in. I broke up the team. I was usually by myself. The birds were two hours late to pick us up. So we were laying in a 15-foot wadi. People were pulling it over watch, but it gave the enemy time to set up an ambush for when we did come out. The birds finally came. They landed two clicks away. When we all came up out of the wadi to run towards the birds to get on them, we started getting ambushed. We took swarms, fire, RPGs, mortars, everything you could think of. The kid in front of me was getting down to lay suppressive fire because he was a 249 gunner. He tripped and fell. He threw his weapon to the left of him and I was coming up to the left of him and I tripped over his weapon. I still had an 80 pound pack on my back and I pushed myself up and I wasn't all the way to the top of the hill and I flipped myself backwards and just kept rolling, rolling, rolling down the hill backwards. And I was trying to stop myself and um, I couldn't stop myself. The gunners of the bird pulled me on the bird and just left me lay there. They saw that there was blood and stuff, so they immediately carried me to the medics. Over the next couple of days, I got sent to different fobs to have stuff done. I was refusing to go home. I had the incoming unit coming in. I wanted to know where the hot AOs were, but I was only getting worse at this point. I wasn't getting better. And finally, the colonel like literally called in medevac. I had 18 surgeries to try to save my leg to stay in the army. And then eventually the doctor said, you know, we've done everything. And I was like, fine, just give me something I can use. Okay. I can sit out here for all day. It's a nice night, I could probably sleep out here. I can guarantee you that there's not a veteran that came back that's not injured in some way, shape or form. That's my team from Afghanistan, chicks with guns. There's always invisible wounds. It's just everybody heals differently and everybody heals at a different pace. I am proud of what I did. I miss the army. I mean, I if I was functionable, I would go back. It, I mean, I have friends that are amputees that are still in. I have my family here. I turned my front yard into a playground for my two-year-old granddaughter. I got a phone call from Pam. She said, my husband and I would like to have you part of us. And I was like, I would love to be part of y'all. I mean, it sounds amazing. And so that was that. I love doing veteran events because it brings us back together. When you do events with veterans, you're around people that understand what you went through. It's truly amazing. The Joshua Chamberlain Society, they're not just picking soldiers, they're picking soldiers and their family. They came out of nowhere, and I believe it was God's blessing that they came into my life at the right time.